Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I want to do a retouching tutorial for everyone just so you guys can see the process behind it. If you guys enjoy the video, please give it a like and if you don't, please give me some feedback so I can know what to do to improve. Alright, I'm going to just jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is just get a blank layer and with this layer, I'm going to go ahead and remove um, blemishes. Ah, can't select all on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and remove blemishes and distractions. So I'm going to go ahead and name the, the layer blemishes and distractions. And what I use to do that is I'll use a mixture of three different tools. Uh, I tend to use the spot heating brush, the patch tool and the clone stamp tool, uh, which is over here. But I advise you guys to change the shortcut if you're going to end up doing the same thing as I, um, as me, because this one started off as J, but I wanted it to be something else. So I, I uh, changed it to H. But I use the spot heating brush a lot on the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the face because that's the thing that's gonna take a bit longer to do. The next thing I'm gonna do after this is just get areas outside. Um, one thing that you do wanna do is to adjust the brush size. Uh, the brush size, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, because if you keep it at a high level like this, and it's, if I remove something like next to her nose, it'll select a large area and not do it exactly how you want it to do. Uh, you, you'll be, it's not accurate, I guess is the shorter answer for that. Or how DJ Khaled says accurate. All right. And when I, when I started doing this um, step, I used to do it kind of slow and take my time, but uh, over time I figured, you know, that it's, it was just a waste of time doing it really slow. I was, you know, I was being too tedious and overthinking it, I guess. Um, but you just basically want to remove a little bit of blemishes and stuff like that because it's to me blemishes and pimples and stuff aren't really a good tr uh, true representation of who the person is because these are temporary things. All right. So the next step after this I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into dodge and burn and that's going to be a huge step. Um, I do have a tu tutorial on dodge and burn but it's kind of old. Uh, so I, th I think I want to update that one with a new uh, a new video So let's see I'm just aiming for dark areas and pimple areas Okay, again, I changed the brush size and the way I'm doing that is I'm using the the closed bracket and the open bracket uh, I'm next to the P on the, the keyboard Okay, um, one thing that you want to do before you even start the editing process is you want to ask or you know ask during the session how the client feels about um, editing because sometimes I in the past uh, I worked with a client who had a kind of a, a mole I think it was on the side of their eyebrow um, and they they wanted it to be removed but I thought it was something that they wanted to, to keep on there so um, so yeah just make sure that you ask them because sometimes you don't know you honestly just don't know and, you know, I do want to say, I recall an incident once where somebody removed uh, uh, like a pimple, no, like a mole, I th I no, a scar, it was a scar. And then the client got really upset um, that they did that because I don't know, some emotional attachment to it. Um, and I know I kind of laughed just now, but it, it is a serious thing. You want to ask uh, how they, the client feels about uh, what you're doing. Okay. Well, you mean what you're doing to their face. Okay, I think I, I did everything I wanted to do on her face, so. Okay, I'm gonna just toggle it off and on. I, I kind of removed a little bit too much uh, stuff in this area, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and just straight up just erase. Okay, and I think I'm good after that, yeah. All right, and then after that, I do want to remove some distractions as well. And the distractions I do see are this little dot, this one, this one, maybe this, that hair, that hair, and that, and that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this is this, of course, is the tedious part of the whole retouch, but it is something that uh, really does improve the image. Uh, you know, I've seen photos before where these little things were just kind of hardcore distracting and you know you don't want your photo to be distracted you don't want you want the photo to look good you want to have these distractions in the image um, and there are some lines in the image 
this is a hundred percent here but i did look it up and it was just uh something that happens with flare it happens not with just sony cameras but all cameras in case there's some sony people out there that are watching this or not sony uh watchers but people who just don't like sony watching this uh, so yeah uh, i'm using the, the patch tool right now i use the patch tool to remove that hair i was using the the was it the spot heating brush before that all right maybe i'll remove this sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't all right and that looks good enough to me and i know i saw something here all right and let's go ahead and do that that looks good and this is probably the last thing here and then we'll move into dodge and burn all right and toggle off and on see it kind of i don't know about you guys but it looks way better to me less less distra distraction okay now that the fun part it's it's the funnest part for me okay um i'm gonna do the dodge first you're gonna get a curves adjustment layer bring it up one i guess one square level and then invert the mask and then start painting but the uh i have the brush tool now but i want to want to kind of make sure that you guys are using what I'm using. It's a hundred percent opacity with a low flow. And I use low flow because it's just a gradual buildup of what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Not 4%. I usually use one or 2% because what I just did right now with the 4%, it was just, it showed up too much. And you, I, I can't stress how much of a gradual buildup is better because yeah, it's just, it's an easier, way to get a more natural photo because i think that's something that i see quite often I, use, I see dodge and burn being misused to the point where the skin looks like it's glowing and that's something that you want to avoid you want a natural look unless you're going for something like a like a fantasy kind of feel all right all right and i don't keep saying all right sorry guys uh if you guys are using a tablet then it's gonna be a lot quieter. I know I'm using the mouse, so it's you know, a lot of clicks. All right. Okay. Um, I do kind of tend to, to leave a bit of uh, blemishes and stuff in there, but that's just so it's um, more realistic. Okay. I learned from a photographer by the name of Danny Diamond. He's in uh, New York to do this next step I'm about to show you. Um, he would dodge the eye a little and then make the brush bigger and then dodge that, that area again and then make it bigger and then do that, something like that. And I think he did this so he can give you kind of a subconscious more attention towards the eye. And uh, let's see what I did so far. I do see some areas I do wanna work on a little bit and that's this area, oh this area and this area so i'm gonna go ahead and get that okay now let's see what i did let's see so i see that i did this a little too much so i'm gonna hit x and paint it off okay yeah there you go in this area too, just a little bit. And I, I tend to toggle off and on so you guys, uh, so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna start doing the burn process. I'm gonna get curves adjustment, bring it down a square and invert the mask and start to do this. The whole point with, um, with dodging is to remove imper imperfections and with burn, you kind of, at least in, to me, I tend to use this to give the, sh the shot a little bit more drama. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna make this area a little bit darker. Okay. Make it a little too dark right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it off and on. I think I don't like it. I'll just toggle, I'll just remove it a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna burn some area above the forehead because it's a little too bright and around her, her eye. And one thing, I don't know if you guys um, 
pay attention to it yet, but her arm, her hands are too bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn that. It sounds so weird, I'm burning her hands. But <laughs> yeah. Remember to adjust the size of the brush. And the way you can do that, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure, but you just use the close bracket and open bracket next to the P on the keyboard. Okay. All right. Uh, no, 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 that was bad. bad. Okay, I'm gonna toggle that off and on. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna group these and toggle that off and on. So you guys can see what I did. And, and one step that I kind of do kind of to finalize the photo, sometimes I'll get a levels adjustment and I'll bring this slider up. It's the black, I believe. And just to give it a, bit, a little extra punch. And after that, I go ahead and get another curves and then just bring it up. But not this level, but I, I use, I bring it up a little too much and then I bring it down with opacity. Um, let me see, 60%. 60% looks pretty good. Um, another thing that I like to do, sorry guys. Another thing that I like to do is something I learned from Miguel Quiles. Um, he's a photographer and retoucher, uh, photographer in New York as well. And he likes to get a bright brightness contrast, brings it up, maybe like 20. And then the contrast, maybe, maybe around 20 as well. Uh, invert the mask, of course, and then paint that on the hair. So I'm gonna make the flow a little bit brighter so I can just hurry up and get this out of the way. And be careful to adjust the brush size because you don't want to paint this effect over the skin because then it'll make it look too weird like that. Okay. Yeah. All right, and toggle off and on. And that gave her a lot more color to the hair. So I'm gonna toggle every effect off and on by holding down the alt and clicking on the eye. And that's pretty much the before and the after. The before and the after. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, again, like the video. If you didn't, leave some feedback. All right, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.